Okay, good morning, you guys. It is Tuesday, October 2nd. Happy fall. It's early morning. It's um, about 5.30 a.m. here. The little one is still sleeping. I'm getting ready to wake him up uh, to prepare him for daycare, and then I'll be off to work. As you can tell, I'm still a little sleepy. <laughs> And hopefully this energy will pick up throughout the day okay you guys can you see this traffic this is what happens when you have to be at work later traffic is so so bad the later it gets in the morning it is now 7 18 I had to leave a little later because my husband worked different hours so but look at this <laughs> Who knows when I'll get to work right now, but like I said, it's 7.18 right now, so we'll see how long it'll take for me to get to work. Okay, what's going on, you guys? Um, you hadn't spoke to me all day. I have just left work. <sighs> what a busy day. What a busy day. Exhausted. My husband got home in time to take my son to daycare this morning so that helped out a bit but work was super busy i think it's because we had two people um off today so it made it super super busy i just want to get home and relax but i can't do that <laughs> because i have the little one and he's quite busy so i know he's wanna he's gonna want to come home and play but just as long as I'm at home, I'm okay with that. Totally okay with that. Oh boy. Yeah. So, hoping traffic is good. Okay, what's going on you guys? I am, of course, home. Um, it didn't take me that long to get to the little one. It took me maybe about an hour. Um, he's down here relaxing. My husband is outside doing, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> yeah, glad to be home. I'm preparing myself to play with the little one. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you him now. Say hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I'm ending the video here. Um, I'm not quite sure how long this video is going to be. I don't think I have that much footage. Uh, no, I don't think I have that much footage. So who knows how much, how long this video is going to be. But yeah, I'm ending it here. Today was quite busy for me. Super busy. I have like a major headache right now. The little one is down. He's been down about 30 minutes or so. And my husband is preparing to go to sleep as well. 
Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Let me go ahead and end it with a current event. Okay, so this current event says how a college student and minister answered each other's prayers with a note attached to a balloon. Um, it says a minister in Monticello, Georgia was losing his faith and forgetting his purpose until a balloon attached to a desperate plea floated down from the heavens. Micaiah Curry is the first member of her family to ever go to college, but it has not been easy. When she was due to start nursing classes at Albany State University in Georgia last month, she was nervous and worried about finances. Micaiah's mom is single and disabled, and money is tight. The freshman was due to move into the college dorm without even, even having a blanket. So she wrote a simple plea for help and sent it to the sky with a helium balloon. Dear God, please help me get everything I need before Wednesday. Meanwhile, Jerome Jones, the minister at the Springfield Baptist Church, was losing his faith so much so that he didn't even want to go to church anymore. He was working his day job at a power company when he spotted, a, when he spotted three helium balloons floating through the sky. And lo and behold, they gently fell in front of him. When he read the 18-year-old's note, he immediately knew it was divine intervention. Despite being just about the poorest pre preacher in Georgia, with only, a one, with only $125 in the bank, he spent all of it, not some, but all of it, on a modest mini fridge and a comforter to help Micaiah. Not only has the compassion, compassionate gesture inspired Micaiah to forge ahead with her destiny, the faithful incident renewed Jones' enthusiasm for his life's purpose. When praises go up, blessings come down, Minister Jones told the news. She was like, you're, she was like, you're really going to bring me a refrigerator? Furthermore, the news story prompted um, an outpouring of donations to help cover Micaiah's student loans, raising over $16,000 on GoFundMe. Most importantly, she said the act of kindness encouraged her to keep going, knowing that prayers are answered. Um, very encouraging story. Um, both of them stepped out on faith, the young girl writing a note and attaching it to the balloon. She probably never thought anything would come of it. And it did. And no matter how small or big the gesture was, it made such an impact that it changed two people's lives. So God touched those two people in a very special way. And um, yeah, we say it all the time. You got to live by faith, trust God, and he will make things work for you. The little one is crying. Hold on. Okay, I'm not quite sure where I left off. Um, my little one is struggling. I think he might have a tummy ache. You know how you never really know if they're not really talking, so. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and end it here. The story was very inspirational. Please be sure never to lose your faith. Always trust in the Lord, okay? Um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you in my next video. God bless.